abided Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Inspired by the Spirit, August 28th. Directions for the Youth In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Proverbs 3 verse 6 There are great things expected from the sons and daughters of God. I look upon the youth of today and my heart yearns over them. What possibilities are open before them? If they sincerely seek to learn of Christ, he will give them wisdom as he gave wisdom to Daniel. They may obtain directions from him who is mighty in counsel. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Psalm 111 verse 10 Says the psalmist, The entrance of thy words giveth life, it giveth understanding unto the simple. Psalm 119 verse 130 And the wise man writes, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Let the youth try to appreciate the privilege that may be theirs to be directed by the unerring wisdom of God. Let them take the word of truth as the men of their counsel and become skillful in the use of the sword of the Spirit. Satan is a wise general, but the humble, devoted soldier of Jesus Christ may overcome him. It is written of the victors that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Revelation 12 verse 11 We must not trust in self. Our finite strength is only weakness. Says Jesus, Without me ye can do nothing, but he promises, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. John 15 verses 5 and 7 It is thought a great honor to be invited into the presence of a king of this earth. But let us consider the amazing privilege that is proffered to us. If we obey the requirements of God, we may become the sons and daughters of the king of the universe. Through a crucified and risen Savior, we may be filled with the fruit of righteousness and be lifted to shine in the courts of the King of Kings through unending ages. Our work is to seek the closest union with the Son of God, to learn in His school, to become meek and lowly of heart, to work the works of Christ, advancing His kingdom and hastening His coming. Inspired by the Spirit, August 28th.